Hey guys, T2O Tightening Survival. Today's video is going to be about Hurricane Dorian and what myself and PD are doing to prepare. The hurricane's projected path has shifted off Florida and is now more impacting the North Carolina and South Carolina line. So let's get into some of the items. Take everything that can be charged in this lights out box and go ahead and charge it. The luminades, the battery chargers, go ahead and get everything charged up. That way in case I need to use them, I know they have full power. Our pantry is stocked full of food. So we've got cereals in here, we've got fruit snacks, we've got crackers and chips and cookies and all the things that he enjoys eating. I'm sure that my emergency radio is fully charged. It sits in that windowsill all the time, so I know that it's got a full battery charge on it. Same thing with this little lantern. We have a propane stove, so even if we lose power, I'm not worried about losing a way to cook. We do have backup stoves and I'll show you those later. The next thing is to ensure that we have water. We have a six gallon tub right there, two cases of water. The day before, we will fill up the sinks, the bathtubs, and ensure that our water is safe to drink. Water can get old, so we have a bunch of drink mixes right here. Pasticides and potatoes. We got some rice down here, Bear Creek soups. PD and his wife are gonna start doing reviews on them. It makes eight serving. You can extend the life of this. And especially if you cut it with rice or ramen or something like that. Down here in this bottom is where all of our canned goods are stored. Um, you know, spaghettis, hand hams, open and eat meals, baked beans in there, a lot of cases of tuna, peanut butter, spam, and treat meat. Probably five to six days just worth of canned goods. I know my truck's on half a tank, my Explorer's on half a tank. Make sure your vehicles have at least half a tank just in case you do have to evacuate or just in case the gas pumps do get shut down for a couple days, you at least have fuel. Another area is my UTV. It's a lot more maneuverable than say my truck is. So it's a whole lot easier to get a rounded down tree with this thing than my full size truck. There's the Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panels. Storm comes in, I will be moving them inside. Solar panels come into this. It's my battery, my charge controller, and then inverter. Those have those little lights on them. If I needed to take it inside, could. Chainsaw, chainsaw gas, bar oil. Gotta make sure that I have that stuff on hand. Five gallons of gas should get me through most any emergencies with the chainsaw. Of course, I got a cooler. Easiest way to keep your fridge from getting too warm if it goes out is to have a generator, but some people can't afford them. So take that food, throw it in a cooler, and keep it cold that way. Up next is the generator. So I have 20 gallons of fuel over there for this generator. That should last me for a while. If the power does go out, instead of keeping my fridge plugged up the entire time, run the fridge for two or three hours, then shut it off for two or three. Run the freezer for an hour, two hours, three hours, and then shut it off for five or six. That 20 gallons should last for a while, but if I need to, I'm gonna start pulling fuel from other places, from other sources, such as my lawnmower, my UTV, my Explorer even. I have extra fuel cans for my little BRS stove on the left, and then the single Coleman burner over there. Just in case for whatever reason, our propane stove goes down, we run out of fuel or something weird, magical happens, I still have a way to cook. It's best to have something than nothing. With this solar panel kit, I can bring it inside, run my TV, plug in my electronics, charge a tablet, charge an iPhone, do whatever I need to do without having to burn fuel on this generator. Obviously that's very beneficial. This has been my side of this video. I hope that it's given you some ideas on what to prepare. Good luck to everyone. Y'all stay safe out there. PD, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Guys, this has been T2. Hope y'all have a good one. PD, you take it from here. Hey guys, just wanted to kind of give y'all a breakdown of the stuff that me and my wife went out and picked up. We don't really have to worry about storm surge or anything like that. What we are worried about is power going out for three days. They're saying we could get some strong winds, could get some strong rains, real bad storms. Me and my wife wanted to go out and just go ahead and get kind of prepared for what, just in case life kind of slapped us and said, hey look, you weren't ready. Leave a comment down below if we forgot something, if you would recommend something and just tell us what you thought. Picked up two more Coleman propane tanks. I got these because I have the Coleman little campfire stove. If the power was to go out, my house is ran 100% on electricity. I would have to figure out a way to cook my food. The Coleman system works for my at-home stuff. This would be my number one way of cooking my food. T2, I know he his house is ran on gas. Like I said, mine is ran on electric. So for my two younger sons, we got, you know, kick cereal and goldfish, stuff along those lines, just snack stuff. But as far as our actual meals, 
We're going to be sticking more with the instant, the boil and pour in type meals. Bear Creek and I believe that's Knorr. These are both kind of instant meals. You just boil water and add the mix in with it. I really love them. My family has absolutely fallen in love with them since I started buying them. You can take these Bear Creeks and add in a can of red beans, a can of pinto beans, some rice. You can really stretch this meal out and that's the reason we got it because we know that we can make it feed more people if we need to. We got enough food, what I believe will last us about two weeks. We do have two young kids, so we're not super keen on candles. But one thing I do have, Ozark Trails. It's a great little lantern. I've had it for about five years. It actually helped us out when we uh, went through the last big snowstorm. It's good durable. I love it. I definitely recommend checking it out. We picked out some of these little Ozark Trail pin lights and got everybody in the family a... Ozark Trail headlamp. We did pick up some of these $1 candles. I can't say that, you know, they burn for three days or nothing like that. I haven't tried it yet. You're very strongly encouraging a kid to blow out a candle on a birthday cake. Every flame they see, they think they need to blow out. They end up climbing on top of stuff trying to get this. It's not really the safest thing in the world. So we're going to try to stay away from candles as much as possible, but we do see that we may need to use them. If you have a lighter, one thing you need to do before an emergency Make sure that thing will light. Test your stuff out. Make sure it's working before you get into that situation. Before a storm, go out and get a full tank of gas. If you have a full tank, you will have enough fuel to get you away from where you are. You're given several days in advance. Don't wait till the last minute to go fill up your vehicle. One thing I've noticed is these guys that are going out to the gas station filling up these 55 gallon gas cans. I personally do not see a point in that. You may have a generator and your generator may need that much gas for two weeks. I don't have it, so I don't see a need for it. We don't need gas stations running out of fuel when people could be filling up the vehicles to get out. If you got it all loaded up in the back of your truck, man, you're not helping nobody out. If you got a full tank of gas, you can go just about as far as you need to go to get somewhere safe. My wife wanted to make sure that we picked up several rolls of toilet paper. May not seem like a big deal, if you run out, you will not think it's a big deal. We did pick up some baby powder. If I start chafing or something, we have baby powder for it. The recommended amount of water provision is uh, one gallon per person per day. Right now we only have about four gallons in our refrigerator. We know we need to work on that and we'll probably pick up some more before the storm actually hits. Get you a hand crank emergency radio. If the power goes out and your phone dies, you still have a way of hearing emergency information. We do have a cell phone charging block. So if the power goes out, we'll get about one good charge off of that. After that, our phones will go down. Yeah guys, so that's what I got from my house. What me and my wife picked up for just our emergency kit for this hurricane. We don't get bad hurricanes really. We do get power outages from them. We do get snowstorms and ice storms. Just leave a comment down below if there's some things you would definitely recommend I check out. Definitely be praying for the people in the path of DeLorean or Dorian, whatever it's called. That's all I really got. PD, checking out. Y'all be safe. I'll talk to y'all later.